But if you insist, we shall go up to Ballad Hall. This is, uh, oh, there's Xavier in the UC. This is early on in this ball game. Bob Huggins wants this win very badly. XU's guard play got that matter in front quickly. Gary Lumpkin, and here's a three-pointer from Lenny Brown, and the die had been cast. This one would go back and forth. Newcomer Kevin Fry getting a taste for the tone of it. It's 7-all. And the racehorse pace continued with UC's defense making up for its poor shooting. Kenyon Martin with a court-length rejection rejection even to thrill the crowd so Xavier stayed outside Lumpkin and company bombed away this three makes it 26 19 hope X savored the moment Melvin Levitt would find his range and with this three had erased much of the lead it is 26 23 Xavier still on top Melvin Levitt would come right back and his layup punctuates an 8-0 run that had completely turned the momentum to the Bearcats. Skip Prosser didn't look kindly on some rough stuff underneath that went undetected by the officials. But everyone saw this. Steve Logan's jumper that brought down the curtain on the first half as they had reclaimed the lead 34-29. UC had taken a commanding lead of its own only to see it all get away. Gary Lumpkin shooting the three. He hits it and was fouled in the act. Makes it a four-point play. UC's lead cut to 44 uh, 45 with the 15 left, a 12-2 two, run. They took the lead on this drive from the hoop by Lloyd Price. It's 45-44. XU went on a run to take a lead of their own. UC won for 18 at one point in three-point baskets. That's the way it's been as it stands right now. It is 65-66 UC with six minutes left in the... Bearcats and Muskies are waging war over the rock on every play. Even the fans, look at them. They were into it at the shoe. They were wild. The players were wild. Lenny Brown fired up for X. Kenyon Martin strutting his stuff for UC. UC drawing blood right there. Melvin Levitt's jam. Kevin Fry answers. Tied at seven. Yes, why, Bob wants to know. Levitt, he comes back, gets way up. Good hang time. He leads UC with nine in the first half. He was shaken up on that play, but came back in. Then Lenny Brown goes to work. He was incredible. Lenny with 11 points in the first half. He couldn't miss and he knew it. Look at him. Gary Lumpkin, he turns it on too. X with a seven point lead. Gary was feeling it. Then UC's defense takes over. Kenyon Martin says, not in my house. He has five blocks in the first half. Then it's Mel finishing at the other end. UC scores eight straight to take the lead. Late in the first half, time running out. Steve Logan, he hits UC up by five at the half. There have been nine ties, 13 lead changes. UC is up by one, 66-65, with 6.03 left to play on the scoreboard. Miami a winner tonight. Wall action for the backcourt. Lenny Brown hits a three-pointer here. Gary Lumpkin also had some early success. He hits a three. Took a little bit, but then Mel Levitt joined the club. His threes were a big boost for the Bearcats. When he wasn't putting them in, Kenyon Martin was swatting them away. Lloyd Price gets a big-time rejection. Xavier never quit. Lenny Brown makes the steal, comes down with a slam, but gets a T for hanging on the rim. UC guards, though, came up big in the closing minutes. Freshman Steve Logan sinks a three. It hardly rippled the net. And Xavier couldn't get over the hump in the end. They had some chances in close. But they hear they just couldn't get anything to fall. I have to think they were thinking Kenyon was close by. UC wins a terrific game by 10 points. Bragging rights belong in Clifton. Now both teams get on with it. Said Musketeers coach Skip Prosser, I knew it was a big game when the priest referred to it in mass the other day. While it might seem as if Prosser's team would need some divine intervention against the fifth-ranked Bearcats, keep in mind Xavier had won two in a row in the series coming in. To the shoe we go, first half, there are rejections, and then there's what Kenyon Martin did to Lloyd Price. He sends it all the way across the court and into the first row. Martin, five first half blocks. Second half, Cincinnati up 11. Xavier making a run, though. Lenny Brown for three, he had 21. And Gary Lumpkin for three, and then Gary Lumpkin for three, and the foul. Part of a 16-2 Xavier run. Lumpkin led the Musketeers with 25. Xavier would take a three-point lead. Now Bearcats up two. Jermaine Tate, 10.6 boards. Cincy by four, then they pull away. Melvin Levitt, he finished with 23, including that three ball as the Bearcats do indeed pull away to win it by 10. First time they have beaten Xavier in three years since he extends his home court winning streak to 28 games. The Musketeers hit 46% from three-point range but just 35% from it.